Right, let's get cracking. Coming up, it's another loco repair challenge. All these engines have been broken, mistreated, or literally just left to rot. I'm gonna try and fix them up so that these forgotten models can be enjoyed once again. But there is a catch. Each repair job has a time limit, and this is decided by the Timomatic machine. If the time runs out before the repairs are complete, then the engine will go to the evil scrap man. I am the scrap man. This season, the engines are in worse condition than ever before, and the time limits are tighter than ever before, so this time my skills will truly be put to the test. Welcome to Salvage or Scrap. Let's take a look at the last ever Sorry Switcher. This troubled tank engine. This crusty kettle. Today's loco comes from a brand that I've never tried before, so it's a real unknown. It's a lifelike old time tea kettle, which I bought for 26 pounds. I've never worked on a loco from this brand before, which obviously makes me a bit nervous, but how's it looking cosmetically? Let's take a close look. And the answer is, it's looking pretty good. Don't get me wrong, this is a horrible loco, but there doesn't seem to be anything missing or broken off it, which is good news. Cosmetically, it's good and clean, all of the decoration seems to be okay, and all of the little details are intact as well. It's still got its cow catcher, as fragile as that looks, still got its bell and various other details as well. It's even got a British tension lock coupling retrofitted to it, which looks ridiculous because it's poking way out the back of the loco, but I guess at least it means I can couple British rolling stock up to this thing. And already, I hate the mechanism. The coupling rods seem to have a ton of movement built into them for some odd reason, so maybe it's all-wheel drive and those coupling rods are just dummies. <sighs> it's getting better and better all the time, isn't it, this one? Anyway, let's give it some juice. Does it work? Oh. Oh, there's a surprise. So there is a sign of life here. The light on the front has come on and I can hear that the motor is running. No movement on the outside though, so obviously there's something wrong with the gearing, something's not meshing properly, maybe something's broken, I have no idea. But clearly there's electric getting to the motor, but the loco is not running. Interesting stuff. Right, let's stop this. So now I'm even more nervous. I've never opened up one of these locos before and there's some sort of unknown mechanical fault because the drive's not getting from the motor to the wheels. So how long have I got to find out what's wrong and hopefully put it right? Timomatic, if you will. 30 minutes, right, so that is the longest repair time of the season and I've no idea whether I'm gonna need it. If the repair is simple, if it's just something basic, it might be a five minute job. If this loco is horrible inside, and I've heard that it is, I'm not sure how this one's going to go. First ever experience with a lifelike model, please wish me luck, time to get started. The rules are that I'm not allowed to go shopping for any replacement parts. I can use parts that I already have in my own stores, or I can 3D print brand new ones, but anything made this way must be printed within the time limit. And so we come to the final salvage or scrap repair job. Before I get started, I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone who has watched Salvage or Scrap. It means so much to hear about how much you like it and such, so thank you so much for that. No plans for salvage or scrap to return for the moment, but I will never say never. Anyway, I've got 30 minutes to fix this little tea kettle thing. <laughs> no idea what I'm gonna find inside, but it is time to find out. So time please begin in three, two, one, now. Right, 
first job, got to find out how this thing comes apart. Now, how does this come apart? <laughs> I am at a disadvantage here. Usually, I know exactly how a loco's body comes off, but I've never worked on one of these before, so I'm having to figure it out for the very first time. Maybe I should just go ahead and take the base keeper plate off, maybe, and see if that's a way to get inside. There is a big screw at the back there, but that looks like it's holding the motor on. If there's no simple way to get the body off and I release the motor and it drops inside the model, that would not be good. Okay, so yeah, it is all wheel drive, weirdly. Okay, fair enough. And the pickups are just bits of metal which touch the flanges. So it's actually a, a really nasty mechanism by the looks of things. These were actually working fine, so it's not like there's too much to fix here. Um, but I am just going to clean up the axles. Weirdly, the two halves of the chassis seem to be loose in there and they're sort of moving around. That's weird too. I seem to have dislodged the pistons. Oh gosh. I hate cylinders. It only takes a fraction of a second to knock them out of place, but it can literally take minutes to put them back again. Just nasty plastic pistons, man. Why are they so cheap and nasty? Right, they're back in. Phew. Okay, yeah, I, I'm gonna hate this. I can tell already that this is gonna be a nightmare of a mechanism. But I'm about to make a harrowing discovery. You know what? There are some gears missing in here. I don't know why, but there, there, there is no drive going to these wheels. There are empty shafts here without gears on them. What? Oh my God. Right, I need to get inside immediately and find out if there are gears inside. At this point, I don't know what to do. There's a chance the gears may be loose somewhere inside the mechanism, so I desperately need to get that body off. Oh gosh, yep, there's there's the motor. <laughs> there's the weight inside. Okay, I'm not seeing any gears. The wheels are out, the whole thing's falling to pieces. It looks like the end for this loco already. Two crucial driving gears are missing, and I haven't been able to find them inside. So. I need to find some gears that will fit onto these shafts. Look at the design of this. The whole frame of the chassis is just two metal bits with these pins running through them and they slide into the plastic casing. That's a horrible design. This has really thrown me off. I was not expecting to have to hunt for gears. I know I have a bag full somewhere and I have no idea where they are, but I've got 26 minutes to find them. Gears, gears, gears. This is not good at all. I can't find any suitable gears in the parts box, so it's time to search elsewhere. Okay, okay, let's think, let's think. Where might I have some gears? Uh, let's have a look in these containers. Oh, this is what desperation looks like. I do have some gears somewhere, I know it. I just don't know where. Still no gears, so I'm off to search in the storeroom got to be some gears in here somewhere. I'm sure I bought some. After a short and frantic search, I finally found my big bag of gears. Ah, yes. I found a huge bag of gears. I don't know whether any of these are going to be suitable, but it seems to me that it's all I've got. Now I have to find two identical gears that look like they might fit. The chances of success here seem very slim indeed. Right, let's get all the possibles together. I think they're the same. Uh, that's a possible. But is it gonna fit onto the shaft? I found a gear that looks like it could fit, so I'm gonna push it onto the gear shaft and give it a try. Whoa, this is gonna be rough, isn't it? There's so many different types of gears with different teeth and all sorts. I think the chances of this working are slim to none here, but I don't have another plan. Okay, is that gonna work or not? Oh my God, I think it might. I think it might work. It might work. Oh my god. If this works, this will be a miracle. Astonishingly, it looks like the gear is the right size, but I need a second one to finish the job. How long have I got for this? I've got like 21 minutes. Okay, so I need one of those small gears again. Um, it's not that one. I'll please say there's more than one. There doesn't seem to be more than one, but I seem to remember buying more than one bag of gears. So it's back into the storeroom to search for more. I've got something. I've got something here. It's not the same kind of gears, but maybe there'll be another matching one. I've got lucky once. Is that it? I think that's it. I think I've got one. Right, 
So, I've got to find the little shaft, there it is. I've selected what I think is another fitting gear, and now I'm pushing it onto the other shaft. Okay, I think these gears may or may not fit and work. Are they alright? Is that the same too? No, it isn't the same gear. Oh no. It's no good. The second gear is a tiny bit larger, and so it doesn't fit. I think I have got one though. Yeah, I have got one. I've found yet another gear that seems to be the right size, so I've got to remove the first gear from the shaft and try this one instead. There we go, it's off. Okay, that gear can go in the bin. It's this little yellow one I found. I haven't really got time to start measuring things, so let's just get it on and see if this is going to fit. I think it will be a miracle if I pass this one. Not expecting to pass at all now, but uh, I wouldn't want to just sit back and say, no, it's a dead loss, I'm not going to try. I will certainly try and we'll see what happens. Right, is that going to work any better? It is a concern that the main gear seems to have split on this thing. Yeah, that's not good. But again, I don't think I've got one that will fit that either. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work at all, folks. But uh, I have to try. Right, let's move some of the gears out of the way. Uh, the motor does work, I know that, so I can probably just leave that in place. This loco design is really infuriating. Trying to get this gear frame back into position without the gears dropping out again is an absolute nightmare under pressure. Oh, this is a horrible design. What a horrid, horrid mechanism. Blimey, this is awful. It's not fitting in. Oh, I think I kind of got it in. Oh my god, I think it might even work, you know? I don't think it's going to be a nice smooth runner by any means, but it might work. It looks like good news on the gears, but as I'm trying to fit the motor back on, the gear frame has dropped out again, and all the gears have spilt out of it as well. So I've decided to get the motor fitted first this time. Take two, let's try and get this chassis back together again. This is insane. What a crazy, crazy project this has turned out to be. Right, okay. For the second time, the completed gear frame is back into the loco. Right, there we go. So the body screw can go back in. If this works, I will be amazed. I don't care if it's not a great runner. If it just hobbles itself along a little bit, that will be good enough for me. Yeah, I've got to try and get the annoying sliders back in. Very, very frustrating. With the loco back together, it's time to try testing it to see if the new gears are going to work. Right, so if I get some power to these pickups, and I can just give it some juice and see if it's going to work. Is it? No, it isn't. The motor's running, but it's not engaging with the gears again. Very quickly, I have to remove the body and find out what's going on. How long have I got? 10 minutes. Okay, well that seems doable. Yeah, the motor is now not meshing with the gear. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh no, I'm going to have to take it apart again. It's a separate problem, it's a separate issue. The motor is now not meshing. Hopefully I put it on wrong and all I need to do is adjust it and get it on properly and then it will be fine. Right, let's try screwing it back in. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. I think I probably did just put it on wrong. I'm still a little bit concerned about that split gear that seems to be affecting the loco. Hmm, I don't know what I can do about that really. I don't know why I'm putting the body on now. It seems a risky thing to do in case it has to come off again. But um, you know what, who cares? Let's just try. Uh oh, that's oh, broken. Screw thread's broken. To add even more to the chaos, I've just broken the screw thread that holds the body. But I have to worry about that later on. It's time to try powering up the loco again. Is this gonna run? I mean, I saw the wheels turn. Oh man. Incredibly, the wheels started to turn, but something seems to be stopping them, and I'm fearful that it's that split gear I was concerned about. I don't think it's going to work though, folks, because like I say, that main gear has split, so I assume the previous owner has probably harvested the other gears from this so that they can make a, a working example, because this is not having it. Well, unfortunately, I think that is possibly all that I can do. This loco is a load of junk, folks. I do not like this engine at all. 
I'm tinkering around with it, I'm doing my best, but it's just not going well. <laughs> it's not going well at all. It's a horrible design. The axles are slipping on the gears. One of the gears has split. The body fixing screw thread has broken. It's just a hideous, horrible loco. Ooh. Yeah, kind of not working, folks. Kind of not working. I think I'm going to have to leave it there. Timomatic, please stop the clock with four minutes and 10 seconds remaining. I had a good go. I dug through my archive of gears. I tried to find ones that would fit. Amazingly, I did. Those gears that I put in, I believe would work with this. But we've got a, a broken gear. We've got a body screw that has failed. I'm going to take it through to the workshop, I'm going to put power to it, and I'm going to cross my fingers, because maybe a miracle will happen, but I don't think it's going to be good news. But this is the final episode, and I'm not going down without a fight. Folks, I'm not going down as easy as that, because as I was putting away the gears, I found this. Now, I don't think this is going to fit. I think the chances are one in a million, maybe not quite that low, but pretty low, but I noticed there's four minutes left on the Timomatic. Timomatic, please resume the timer. I'm gonna give it a try. I've decided to use my final few minutes just to try a different gear. I got lucky once. Some of the gears from this set of gears did fit. So maybe I'll get lucky, maybe I won't, but I just feel like I wanna give this a try. I can't waste a second. I need to get the old gear off the shaft and replace it with the new one. This might have been a complete waste of time. It probably will have been but I just want to try. You know what, it looks like it's gonna fit. Let's give this a try. There's a problem. Unlike the other gears, this one is loose on the shaft, meaning that the gear is able to move around slightly. It's far from ideal, but it might just work. There's no time for faffing around with that now. We've just gotta hope for the best. Now that time is running short and I have yet another loose gear to contend with, I'm really struggling to get the gear frame back together. Damn gears, man. Oh, this is going to be very, very difficult to do because this centre gear is now all over the place. Through sheer luck, I finally managed to get the gear frame back into the loco without the gears falling out. I now have one minute to get the wheels and those fiddly cylinders back into position. I think I got it on. I think I got it on. No, I didn't. It's on wrong. Damn it. Okay, I've got one minute and 18 seconds. I'm not gonna have time to test this. And you know what? I don't want to test it either. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it and test it in the workshop. Because, <laughs> hey, I like that kind of drama. That's what Salvage or Scrap has been all about. And we're gonna go out with a real dramatic bang, I think. Okay, stop the clock, time I'm 42 seconds left. All of the gears in this loco have been replaced. I don't know whether it's going to work or not. In fact, I think the chances are fairly slim, but let's take it back to the workshop and let's find out. The lifelike tea kettle then is back in the workshop after 29 minutes and 18 seconds of repair work. I'm about to make the final inspection, but first here's a reminder of the Loco's original condition. Cosmetically, it was okay, of course. It was nice and clean, no worries there at all. But the Loco wouldn't run. The motor would spin, but the wheels would not turn. I now know that that was due to not one, but two missing gears. And here's the final result. Uh, surprise, surprise, it's not much different. I can just say that now the lamp won't work because one of the cables broke during the repair. So there's a chance that this loco could be even worse than it was to begin with. I frantically stuffed this loco full of gears that I thought would fit, but I didn't have time to test it. So let's put me out of my misery with the final test. <coughs> Oh, blimey. All right, well, it's trying. Let's try it in reverse. Oh, nope. Stalled in reverse. Oh, so I've managed to make the wheels twitch a little bit. Let's try it forwards again. I've managed to make the wheels do a few rotations. 
and I have to say when I first saw those missing gears I thought there would be nothing I can do. I'm amazed that this thing has been able to turn its wheels at all. But clearly this is not running as it should be. This Loco is not able to turn its wheels due to some sort of issue with the gearing and therefore I do have to fail this locomotive. Oh man, that is so disappointing. I really thought this would work, but to be fair, I did suspect there could have been an issue with that last big gear I put in. It was quite loose on its little shaft, and I guess that movement has just caused the gears to jam or not engage properly. Anyway, regardless of the reason, I failed, and this loco must go to the evil scrap man. <laughs> Well, you can't win them all, and to be honest, I'm quite impressed that I got as far as I did. The fact that I was able to find gears on the spot that would actually fit into the Loco was quite impressive, even if they didn't work. Anyway, that will just about do it for Salvage or Scrap. I really hope you've enjoyed watching, and thank you for watching if you have. I don't have any plans for any more Salvage or Scrap for the moment, but anytime you like, please feel free to come back and re-watch some episodes. For now though, that is well and truly job done and I'll see you perhaps one day on Salvage or Scrap.